Hey, what's going on everybody? I thought I'd do this week's bonus video. Uh, it's a little bit of an update because a few months ago, if you remember, I was talking about my Doomerals boa. And here she is right here. Uh, it's my big female Doomerals boa. And she's just kind of hanging out right up on this uh, iguana stand that I have. And she's being a good girl. She's actually gonna go into shed here in just a little bit. Uh, she's starting to molt and that's really cool, but I don't wanna get her too upset. But the really cool news about this whole scenario is she finally gave birth to a litter of offspring. It's the first time I've had Dumeril's boas bo uh, born here. Actually, first time I've had boas of any kind. I've hatched out um, a Burmese python in the years past, but this is the first time I've had a live bear. So I'm really excited. So I wanted to show you guys some of the babies. So let's take a look at it right now. And I wanna give you an idea of what happened. We had 10 babies, one was stillborn. But the other nine are doing amazing. Uh, this is not where they're living. This is just for the video. These guys are being kept right now in a large, uh, like 20 gallon long tank with some water on a newspaper substrate. And uh, as you can see, some of them are starting to get their first sheds. And uh, that's really, really cool. What will happen is as the, the uh, neonate or the new baby grows, it starts to have its first shed and therefore that's when you know uh, right after that first shed you're going to be able to start offering food items for these little guys. So I'll start with pinky mice and get them going that way. But look at this. Here's mama right there and here's baby. Isn't that amazing? So, so cool. You know, I basically walked out and found a bunch of these guys in the cage. So it's pretty neat whenever you walk into an enclosure or to the room uh, where you see the snakes and then you just see a bunch of babies. So what happens is instead of laying an egg, the mother holds the eggs in her body and the eggs never get a, a hard shell. They just get an egg membrane and uh, they are eggs though. They're being fed from a yolk and once the babies are ready to uh, hatch, the mother then uh, expels them through a cloaca and they come out in that egg sac and they break out of the egg sac and they still have a little bit of an umbilicus with some yolk on it. Let's see what this one, maybe I can find a little bit of the yolk sac. Let's see. They're all starting to really, um, starting to really shed here. So let's see. Well, there's right there, that little dot by my finger, that's actually where the yolk is being absorbed. So that's his little belly button, if you want to call it that, or umbilicus. Uh, let's see, I know there was one that wasn't quite absorbed, so I wanted to try and find that one for you guys. But they're looking like they're doing really well now. And uh, these guys aren't very nippy now. Most of the time, neonates, here we go. Here we go, look at this. So this one here, it's not quite absorbed, and I'm going to have to keep an eye on this one to make sure that everything's going well. Now the body feels fine, but let me try and get this guy so you can see it. Some belly. See that? So I might want to put some triple antibiotic uh, ointment on this just to help it loosen up and help it heal. But that is a baby Dumerel's boa, and there is where the yolk is being absorbed. So you can kind of get an idea as to how that looks uh, on a snake. Really, really cool though. Uh, and I'm just amazed at how well mom's being. I mean, how well behaved. Look at her. She's just hanging out. She's trying to set a good example for her children, uh, which, as you know, is utter nonsense because snakes don't really have much maternal instincts beyond some pythons really just protecting their eggs. And then the uh, babies are born close to them and they stick around for a little while. But how about it? Really, really excited to show you guys that these guys did hatch. Maybe I'll give them a little soak, help them shed. And uh, there you have it, baby Dumerels. And these little guys came out this size. It's really incredible. Uh, we got this one little dude. But everyone else, really, really amazing. And congratulations to mom. I know my buddy Tyler is going to be excited to hear about this because I got this uh, animal in trade. So congrats, buddy. Uh, she gave birth. She had a litter. Nine babies. Good deal. All right, guys, there is a bonus video for you. I'm Kenan Harkin. I'm signing off. Enjoy your Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to Camp Kenan on YouTube. Share our videos. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and the Camp Kenan store is open. If you'd like to help support the channel, please check out our t-shirts. We have a few different sizes available. Kids and triple XL size is coming soon. So don't, don't worry guys, we've heard your calls for more sizes. 
and we'll get them going for you. All right, thanks so much, everybody. I'll talk to you again soon. It looks like this dude wants to talk into the mic. Maybe I'll, maybe there's a microphone hissing somewhere. But I'm bum. What can I say? I'm a funny dude. See you later, everybody. Don't forget Tuesday, new episode. Camp Ken. So long.